So in the next video that you're gonna watch, uh, it resonates a lot with me. Uh, it's close to my heart, and one of the reasons is because, uh, you know, having having your family members actually share the same hobby with you, the same passion with you, I think that tells a lot, and it it, it does you know uh, help a lot in in terms of uh, the. The, the language that you speak uh, in terms of you know what are some of the requirements that uh, actually keep this hobby alive so maybe a little bit of a background uh, uh, about myself and one of it is that I've been in this uh, aquarium uh, hobby for close to you know 20 years or 20 years already uh, and it is very meaningful I mean along the journey along the way along the journey I actually uh, met a lot of uh, new friends uh, from overseas and uh, we keep in close contact and we learn uh, to understand the, the, the similarities and the differences between uh, how we actually keep our streams and how we cycle our tanks and how we do our things as well so so this is a very interesting journey and uh, the next the, the video that you're gonna continue watching is that uh, Jake is actually gonna have his own first tank first stream tank and let's go What's up stream keepers? Welcome back to my channel. Today we have uh, my son over here. His name is Jake. Say hello. Hello. So today we actually went up to a aquarium shop uh, near our place. And it is very interesting that you know uh, I didn't expect that you know Jake to actually tell me that you know he wants to have his own stream tank. You know his own his own tank. Because I I mean right now I do have quite a number of tanks. Uh, and I also have some empty tanks that you know I can actually uh, give it to him but he said he wants to have his own tank and uh, now we have this new tank for him it is a 20 by 20 by 20 cm tank is I think it's uh, 8 liters so it will be what kind of uh, streams do you want to keep? I'm blue color blue color streams okay um, do you want to keep like Neo Caridinas or Caridinas? The one that you have. The one that I have, okay. So we're gonna put soil in here, right? We're gonna put soil in here. And we're gonna cycle the tank for 30 days, 40 days. We're gonna just uh, do a demo and uh, we're gonna pour the soil right in here. So we are today we are gonna use ADA soil. And uh, I'll let Jake do his own tank and he's gonna pour himself. Um, Jake, you can. You can do it yourself. Alright, just go ahead and pour slowly. Okay. Done. Mine is still clean. Okay. Uh, then what are you going to do? Show them. Show them all. Okay, show them the tank. Right, so it's now done. And right now, what are you going to do with the, 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 the soil? Maybe I'll just adjust the camera a little bit. And then I can actually show. But you have to smooth it. Yeah, I have to smooth it. I have to smooth it. You want to smooth it? Yeah.
Done. Done. So now the tank is now ready for cycling. And as you can see that the soil is not uh, fully level, but that's fine. I mean, that's all right as well. And uh, for the filtration, I'm actually, we are going to use the uh, Eheim, the smallest Eheim hangout filter. And in there is the uh, powerhouse, uh, I've placed the powerhouse filter media from the other tanks. Uh, so what I'm actually doing is actually I'm seeding the tank uh, for beneficial bacteria so that it will help, you know, speed up the, the cycling process. So there you have it. Uh, once we are going to put in like mosses and plants and uh, livestock, I will update again on, on this uh, channel.